वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास ऑफ बायोलॉजी टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट अवर थर्ड चैप्टर इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेरिएशन द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ जेनेटिक इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू अनदर जनरेशन इज नोन एज हेरिडिटी और इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेरिएशन इज नथिंग बट द इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंस जॉन ग्रेगर मेंडल सन ऑफ प्रेजेंट फार्मर was born in Morvia in 1822 John Gregor Mendel first gave the accurate explanation for the mechanism of inheritance by using hybridization techniques Mendel studied seven traits in garden pea plant individually one at a time or in combination of two or three characters at a time these characters are height of stem tall and dark color of flower color flower and white flower position of flower axial or terminal color of pod green or yellow colored shape of pod implanted or constricted the shape of seed round or wrinkled and seed color yellow and green these are seven pair of contrasting characters which studied by mendel according to mendel transmission of characters due to something present inside the gametic cell to this something he coined term factors that are responsible for expression of a particular characters from one generation to another generation he proposed that factors are particulate in nature the term factor is now known as gene which is given by johansson reasons for mendel's success mendel chose garden pea plant for his experiment it is an annual naturally self pollinating plant with several pairs of contrasting characters these experiments were carefully planned and involved large samples The short life span of garden pea plant is about 120 days. Mendel used pure breeding varieties which are verified personally. He considered contrasting characters for his experiments. Mendel considered only one character at a time. Pea plant was controlled by a single factor. So these are some reasons for Mendel's success. then mendel's laws of inheritance the first law is law of dominance when two homozygous individuals with one or more sets of contrasting characters are crossed the characters that appear in f1 generation are dominant and those which do not appear in f1 generation are recessive means those characters which are appear in the first filial generation are called as dominant characters then second law law of segregation means segregation means separation law of separation it is also known as law of purity of gametes when hybrid f1 forms gametes the allele segregate from each other and enter in different gametes the gametes do not mix with each other so this is the law of separation means gametes are separated from each other without mixing with each other they are separated in the next generation dependent assortment when hybrid possessing two or more pair of contrasting factors forms gametes the factors in each pair segregate independently to other pair so they segregate independently in next generation so that is the law of independent assortment then mono hybrid cross mono means single a cross between parents differing in only one heritable traits is called as mono hybrid cross this example phenotype tall and dark phenotype is the external appearance of an organism a tall plant is crossed with dark plant genotype is capital t capital t for tall and small t small t for dark so pure tall plant is crossed with pure dark plant having capital t small t the gametes of 
first filial generation so it is hybrid tall plant on selfing between f1 hybrid and f1 the tall plant capital t small t and tall plant having genotype capital t small t genotype is the genetic constitution here capital t and small t are the gametes in this punnett square we write here male gametes and here female gametes capital t small t capital t small t in this square capital t capital t in this square a cross between capital t small t here capital t small t and here small t small t so phenotypic ratio we get 1 as to 3 1 is pure dwarf and 3 are tall plant is the phenotype phenotype is the external appearance so 1 dwarf plant and 3 tall plant the genotypic ratio is 1 as to 2 is to 1 1 pure tall plant to hybrid tall plant and one pure dwarf plant so that is the genotypic ratio so genotype capital t capital t 1 capital t small t capital t small t 2 and small t small t 1 so this is the mono hybrid ratio then di hybrid ratio a dihybrid ratio is nothing but a cross between parents differing in two heritable traits so in the parental generation round seed with yellow color and wrinkled seed with green color so this one is the phenotype and genotype is capital r capital r capital y capital y is the genotype of round yellow seed while small r small r small y small y is the genotype of wrinkled green seed so capital r capital y is the gamete of this parent and small r small y are the gametes of wrinkled green seed so in f1 generation capital r small r capital y small y is the genotype of hybrid round yellow seed in selfing between f1 into f1 the capital r small r capital y small y is crossed with capital r small r capital y small y so their gametes the, so the gametes are capital r capital y capital r small y small r capital y small r small y so these are the male gametes and these are the female gametes here a cross between male gamete and female gametes this one is the punnett square here we cross between the male gametes and female gametes capital r capital r capital y capital y here capital r capital r capital y small y here capital r small r capital y capital y in this method we will get the 16 square into which 9 round yellow 3 round green 3 wrinkled yellow and 1 wrinkled green so wherever capital letter is there the dominant character appears and else law of dominance the genotypic ratio is 1 as to 2 as to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 and the phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so this is a cross between f1 hybrid and homozygous recessive parent is called as test cross so test cross is nothing but a cross between f1 hybrid and one of the recessive parent so here the recessive are crossed with dominant phenotype that is unknown genotype here capital r small r is crossed with small r small r here capital r small r capital r small r small r small r small r small r half of the flowers are violet in color and half of the flowers are white so unknown flower is heterozygous and in this example 
capital R capital R that is the dominant phenotypic character are crossed with homozygous recessive parent capital R small r capital R small r capital R small r capital R small r so all flowers are violet in color the unknown flower is homozygous dominant so this one is the interpretation of test cross then incomplete dominance one gene cannot suppress the expression of other gene completely both genes express partially is called as incomplete dominance so a red flower is crossed with white flower a pure red flower having capital r capital r genotype a pure white flower having small r small r genotype they are crossed and get capital r small r pink color flowers so both genes express partially the red color and white color are seen in the pink flower so both genes are expressed partially for f2 generation a selfing between f1 and f1 capital r small r is crossed with capital r small r these are the female gametes these are the male gametes and after crossing capital r capital r that is red color flower capital r small r that is pink color flower capital r small r pink color flower and small r small r white color flowers so the genotypic ratio is 1 capital r capital r that is red 2 capital r small r that is pink and 1 small r small r that is white color flower the phenotypic ratio is 1 red 2 pink and 1 white so 1 as to 2 as to 1 so genotypic and phenotypic ratio is similar in incomplete dominance then test cross if f1 hybrid is crossed with its recessive parent is called as test cross and the f1 individuals are cross with any one of the parent is called as back cross the phenotypic ratio is 1 as to 1 in test cross the phenotypic ratio is 1 as to 1 but it is not confirmed in back cross so test cross is a back cross and back cross is not test cross always because test cross is a cross between one of the recessive parent and f1 and back cross is a cross between f1 hybrid with one of the parent any one parent whether it is recessive or dominant but in test cross only a recessive parent with f1 is crossed so heterozygous hybrid tall is crossed with recessive dark plant so here the f1 is crossed with one of the any parent so one simple question is there why test cross is a back cross but back cross is not a test cross because test cross is a cross between f1 and one of the recessive parent only while back cross is a cross between f1 and one of the any parent whether it is dominant or it may be recessive so test cross is a back cross but back cross is not a test cross this way a difference between test cross and back cross thank you